Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at chapter 20, verses 21 now to 26. Then they asked him, saying, Teacher, we know that you say and teach rightly, and you do not show personal favoritism, but teach the way of God in truth. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But he perceived their craftiness and said to them, Why do you test me? Show me a denarius. Whose image and inscription does it have? They answered and said, Caesar's. And he said to them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. But they could not catch him in his words in the presence of the people, and they marveled at his answer and kept silent. So this is, we're coming to that spot here where Jesus puts them to silence. They just can't, he defeats every question that they send. So they finally shut up because they, they realize this is not going to be fruitful for them. But let's think about this business here because a lot of people misunderstand Jesus' answer here, okay? So is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? So Jesus says, you know, I know that you're asking me this question not in good faith, but I'll give you an answer, okay? So look at, the, get out a coin. And to get out the coin, and he says, whose picture is that on there? Oh, it's, it's Caesar's picture. So Jesus gives this answer here, and here's where we often misunderstand. We, we often think that uh, some things have been given to the government, and they're outside of God's authority, really. They're just in the government's authority. And some things are still in God's authority. So we're going to differentiate that away. So look at what uh, we have here. Render, therefore, to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. So, first of all, who rules? Well, God only allows people to rule. It doesn't mean he endorses them. Hey, do you think that Hitler was endorsed by God because he happened to be the ruler in Germany? Do you think that Stalin was endorsed by God, even though he, he murdered tens and uh, scores of millions of people? Does God endorse people just because they're the ruler? Jesus says, render to God the things that are God's. Caesar wouldn't have his kingdom, but that God had permitted it to be so. Okay, so ultimately, everything belongs to God. Isn't that true? I mean, okay, how much of it did, did God make? How much of it did Caesar make? Okay, so this is real easy, right? God made 100%. Caesar made zero, <laughs> and that's about how much government makes, zero, okay? So Jesus is saying, render to God the final word, and it's a mistake to think that, that somebody who has been voted in or something, or is just the powerful person, that that person is, because that person's the ruler in that nation, that God, they have God's endorsement for all that they do. That's not what Jesus says here in this part of the scripture. He's reminding us, Think about it. Everything really belongs to God. So God always, always, 100% of the time, has our first allegiance. Don't misunderstand this teaching. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for reminding us. We're in an age today where the, it seems like everything's from the state. The state will send us a check for this. The state will send us a check for that. The state will give us our health care. The state will give us money, etc., and on it goes. But Lord, help us remember that all good things come from you. And you are the ultimate source of life and everything we have. The rain. Some states in the United States regulate the rain. But we know the rain comes from you. And so, Lord, may we truly render to you everything and have everything in its proper place. But that doesn't mean just going along with whatever the government happens to say it is going to do. Because you have not given them that kind of unlimited authority. Jesus didn't do it here. Thank you for this wonderful word from Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, friend. Render to Caesar about how much he deserves. It's kind of a big goose egg there. But ultimately, we don't need to look for trouble, but we're, we're going to follow God in all things.